What's good, YouTube? It's somebody Jonas here. I'll bring y'all guys back with another YouTube video. Yo, this really took me like five times to, you know, do this, but I got it. I got it this time. All right. So this this video is going to be a story time of my worst flight experience. Yeah, I hope y'all enjoy the story time. Leave a, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Um, let's aim for 40 likes for this video. That, that, that's all I ask for, you feel me? Make sure to follow my socials in the description down below. And let's get into it. My worst flight experience. So, it took place, I think, two to three weeks ago. And I was flying from DC to um, Florida, but I have a connecting flight in Atlanta. So my flight, my flight, right, it was, I'm pretty sure at nine. It was gonna be at nine from DC to Atlanta. So that would be like a good 90 minute flight. So, you know, we we go to the airport, um, go through security, get to my gate, you know, board on the plane. Um, I fly Delta, I, I, well, that was my last time flying Delta. That was my last time flying Delta. And I flew by myself, so it, it was even scarier. So I got into the plane, right? And, you know, I got into my seat, waited, you know, for everybody to get into the plane and stuff like that. You feel me? And, you know, I was just waiting, you know, for the plane to leave. So, you know, yeah. So, like, the plane leaves. And then, you know, we, you know we're in the air, right? And they make an announcement when, you know, you're clo you know, around the area. So, I guess we're, we're like a good 20 minutes away from Atlanta. And they made the announcement saying that, you know, we're about to land in Atlanta, like we're, you know, lowering down. And I was like, all right, this finna, this finna be a breeze. I, it really wasn't. So I, I decided to take like a, a little nap, you feel me? Yo, how many times I'm gonna say you feel me? But I took a nap. I was asleep for like a good 30 minutes. So I think I'm gonna wake up in Atlanta. I wake, I wake up and I find myself in Birmingham, Alabama. And I'm, when I wake up, it's like, we have finally reached Birmingham, Alabama. Thank you for remaining calm. I'm like, what, wait, what? Um, I, I just woke up too, so you know, I feel like a little, a little confused. I'm just like. <sighs> and I, I asked someone that's sitting next to me what happened and they say, um, that it was a storm in Atlanta, so we had to relocate to, you know, another airport that's nearby, and I guess the closest airport was, you know, the one in Alabama. So we go, so we're stuck in Alabama, right? It's, uh, it's 11 o'clock, like 11.30, and we're just stuck on the plane. So like, I think it's gonna be like a fast moving storm, so like, we'll, you know, we'll get back in the air in like, you know, 20 to 30 minutes. It's still a, like an hour later flies by and we're still not moving. So we were in the plane for like another 20 minutes after that. And they're like, um, so they're like, so because we can't move, we're gonna let uh, passengers, uh, you know, leave the plane to like go into the airport, walk around get food, stuff like that. So, um, you know, it took me like five minutes to get out the plane because of the amount of people that were inside. So, uh, when I finally get out, I'm just walking around exploring, you know, you know, being, you know, Jonas the Explorer. And like, I'm just walking around. I was on FaceTime with a couple people, you know, telling them, you know, yo, I'm really in Alabama, you know, that's the last state I would want to be in, you feel me? So like, I, I post on my snap, I posted a few snaps on my story. Yo, oh yeah, make sure to add me on snap, TB underscore J-A-Y, you know. Um, so like, I posted a few snaps saying that, what the heck, I'm in Alabama. And then I just I just kept walking around, looking for like good food places to eat at. And the airport was pretty big. No, not, not it was like medium size. So like, I didn't know where I was like completely going. And like, I guess it was like 30 minutes. I still haven't found anything good. And then five minutes after that, I finally find me a Chick-fil-A, right? And I, there's an announcement saying that 
it said my flight number and like told every passenger to get back on the plane and it's saying that we're leaving in five minutes five minutes i'm on the other side of the airport and i got five minutes to get back to the other side so i i sprinted all the way from point a to point b you know what happens i get no food i'm in the plane i'm thinking all right i'm gonna get something to eat at atlanta right no they say that there's another delay for 40 minutes and we've got to be stuck on the plane because of uh, lightning, because the storm from Atlanta came all the way to Alabama. So we're stuck for not even 40 minutes. It was like another hour. So it's like one o'clock right now. And uh, how, how I remember, uh, after, once, once it reached one o'clock, uh, it said that the runway was closed, right? Like when the storm cleared up and stuff like that, it's, it said that the runway was closed so we had to wait and then there were still other you know flights in alabama that had to leave because we just we're just a random plane that just pulled up to alabama and we got to wait for all of them planes to leave and it was like a good six planes that needed to take flight so and each flight takes like a good eight to ten minutes so we had to wait i guess like 40 50 minutes to take flight again and I didn't reach Atlanta until two or three. I don't, I don't completely remember. But once I finally reached in Atlanta, I'm supposed to be having a like an, another flight to get to Florida. So like my the other flight for Florida was at five o'clock. That got canceled because of the storm, like the storm situation. But there were other flights on the same airline, which is Delta. And there were other airlines like Southwest American Airlines that got through and had no canceled flights. But apparently the flight that I had to go to is canceled, which really just like blew me. So my next flight that I had to go to was at seven o'clock. When time goes around, you know, six, 6.30, the flight gets uh, rescheduled to 10. I don't know why, but it gets rescheduled to 10. And then when it gets some 10, yeah. <coughs> no, thank you. And when it gets to, uh, when it gets around 10, it went from 11. And then when it went from 11, like the, the official flight date was 12.30, 12.30. So I stayed in the airport from four to 12.30. Didn't leave until like 1250 so I'm just I'm just cooling in the airport right just just chilling just walking around exploring you know you know doing you know normal teenager things in Atlanta and I found uh, a Chick-fil-a because I still haven't ate I only ate breakfast I didn't eat no lunch I'm, it's basically around dinner time and I found a Chick-fil-a I I swear, that had to be the worst Chick-fil-A in my life. Not not like the food, but like the people. Like, cause when I ordered my food, right, it was a it was a big line. It was like a big line in Chick-fil-A. And the person that I went up to couldn't hear me, right? So because of all the people around, because it was really loud in the airport. So she was like, I need you to speak up. I need you to speak up. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Started whining and fussing at me. And I just I just remained calm. I was like, dang, dang. Cause you never, you would never, you know, hear about a, a mad Chick-fil-A employee but until the day. So I just remained calm. And then like she was about to give me my food. And I tried getting it before I paid. So she firmly gripped, she firmly gripped it until like I uh, placed down my money. Yeah, you know, like, and she still would've hold on to my, she, she held on to my drink for an extra 10 seconds right after I paid, which was, I was like, if you, don't, if you don't give me my drink. So, you know, I ate, walked around still, cause I was just, cause there was a, uh, a subway, like not like a subway, like a little shuttle train. So I was just exploring. And my gate, my gate keeps on, you know, switching up. It went from 
like A7, then A11, then A3 to A2. So it switched like a, like multiple times, and it, it's, it was around 11. I was just on YouTube, on Snap, just texting people, and like finally, like finally, I, I get on the plane. It's 12. It's like 12:30. Five. I finally get on the plane. I text my mom. I text my dad that I'm finally on the plane because you know I'm still still need to know the fact that I'm you know flying by myself. So you know, worried. And it was like my first act. It's like my first time flying by myself. So I finally get on the plane. It was so from uh, Atlanta to Florida. It's like a 50 minute flight and basically mid-flight there was turbulence like extreme turbulence like I don't, I don't know how to describe it like earthquake and so people I guess people were getting motion sickness and like there are two ladies right next to me I had the window seat and like these two ladies are feeling nauseous they had their paper bags no the, the lady that was in the middle didn't have a bag, but the, the lady next to her had a bag. So she had nowhere to throw up that. So the lady on the left, far left, gave her her bag and she threw up in the aisle, like the, the middle of the plane. It was disgusting. So many people were throwing up in their bags and stuff. It was disgusting. Oh my gosh. And it just, it stunk up the whole plane like, my nose was crucified. It was disgusting. Mm. So they placed mats and stuff to, um, you know, like so people won't step on like the tracks and you know vomit and stuff. To like, oh my gosh, it's the next day. I I was supposed I left that Friday. No no no, I left Thursday morning and I didn't get uh like you know. I didn't go to sleep until Friday morning, the next day. So I was up for like a good 24 hours. Cause I, and I couldn't, like the only time I had sleep was when I went from uh, DC to Atlanta, well, Alabama. And once I once I finally reached Florida, right? my I was just waiting for my bag cause I checked my bag. So I'm in baggage claim, right? And I'm waiting like 20 minutes for my bag. And then I, and then I realized that one of the people said that my bag is still in Atlanta. So we stayed for another hour to get my bag. So I didn't I didn't get to my dad's house until 4:30 in the morning. And yeah, that's pretty that's pretty, that's pretty much it y'all for my story time video. Um, never fly Delta, never fly Delta never highly highly recommend to not fly delta um that's pretty much it for this video y'all make sure to like comment subscribe next week is going to be a, another monkey video uh stay tuned and uh, i'm almighty jonas and i'll see you guys later